Hi guys, and welcome back to Blast Off, where, where we last left off doing a bit of Steve's Cats. Today we are going to finish off doing Steve's Cats, and we're going to finish off basically a bit of Britannia. As you can see, I've made four more day lilies or day blooms, whatever you want to call them, as this annoying thing. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed, when you get the red gems from the chest out the craters, Basically, you put your red meteor gems into here, and it stops making a noise. Shush, please. Uh, I, I hope you can hear me, guys. I don't know if you can. Basically, it protects you. And I got c attacked by them cats in the meteor straight before, and somehow we've ended up with cooked meat fish inside of here. But I'm not complaining, but it's just weird. But put your red meteor gems into here. It will increase the range to 30 blocks if you got two. I need to find two more. Hopefully I'll find two more. Um, and basically it makes your power level go up. Obviously block comments on or off. And I'll just keep it on basically. There is um, a mod. The part of the mod. There is some like torches things. And which are like green with this texture pack. Basically, you put them down, the more, the further out you go. If it's lit green, you are protected from comments. As soon as you go further out, you go out. If it's not lit, eventually, it's time you get out, that's where you're not protected to. So, that it does, the, the mod does help you in that way, so that's quite a good thing. And what we're going to do with Britannia, basically, we need a man spreader for the, the other stuff, basically. So if we go into here, getting started, and for something like this, end of flame, it needs, if I go into here, and do, and click recipe, it needs red mana petals. And the only way you can get them is putting them in a, into a mana pool. And the only way you get mana pool is from your day blooms, nightshade, Endo, endo flames and stuff like that. So basically, what you need to do, I've already gone ahead. What you want to do is throw loads of logs around your pure daisy, and you get living living um, logs. Surround, which we get them. Surround it with smooth stone, which is just normal stone smelt, cobblestone smelted into a smeltery, or I mean a furnace. Then you get living rock, but you don't need living rock. You need living rock for the mana pool which if you go back to the other episodes you will see but we need living rock for the mana pool so I've gone ahead I want two so all it is it's living rock on a top and living rock on the bottom two mystical flower petals which you can use any of the petals which you get from the grass then obviously you put the flowers into your inventory and get the petals then you want two gold ingots which will give you two mana spreaders so if you get that go into here basically I want the mana spreader to come in here basically so what I'll do is put that there and that there that there and that there get rid of that And get rid of that. And what we're gonna have to do is put the our camel pack back on. And we definitely need to get some water. Got ten percent water left in that one. I'll use that one until we start running out. Hence why I need Steve's cats. I've already gone up ahead and set up a rail and a detector rail and this uh, uh, what are it called? Right, I need some more coal. Can you use this? No, we can't. That's be just silly if you can use that. I haven't got my speed back yet, though. I don't know if it's ever going to come back. I don't know if it's a glitch in the my fit. I did try and put this onto here to try and get some energy for this, but that wasn't happening anytime soon. So basically, we need some coal. So get the coal. And I've gone totally the wrong way, but oh well. 
So if we go and put this into the here, should then cook up, and we got three minutes left. So that's not too bad, even though it said fifteen minutes. Uh, right. So basically, we need to move these now. So these are pointing down into here, and the only way to get that is if um, I forgot what it's called now. Is it mana? But we do need that mana pylon eventually. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find it. Two seconds. If you go into it, and then you go up to and find Botania. Shift click. And go down. I'll just try and find it. Where are you? I know how to make it. I'm just trying to show you guys. There it is. One of these. This is a wonder forest. And all you do is this just basically changes where your mana spreader faces. And you need the living wood twig. To get the living wood twig, you just do that. And you get that. We need some more. <laughs> just my luck. Uh, did I leave any wood up here? I did not. Well, I can show you how. If you're first time here, oh, I had wood on me. Basically, all you do is get your wood, place it around like that, and that's sorted. And that takes about up to a minute to something like that, just to change. And all you do is surround it like that. It doesn't matter if they lay any other way or anything, as long as they're round that pure daisy, they will change. And you'll hear them change because it sounds like block breaking type thing. Um, what else do we need? I can actually see if we need anything else. But this runic altar, um, I did see it. I did see it. Is that no? That's not. That was a slab. Where are we? There we are. This needs a basically living rock or the same with this. And it needs a mana diamond or a mana pool. And the only way you get mana pool is through the, the mana pool itself. Uh, and the same with a diamond. Diamond through a mana pool gives you a mana diamond. It's, it might seem complicated. It's not complicated once what you know what you're doing. Because basically once you get this one wand of forest... And you point these to here. Basically, here we go, we're changing now. There you go, it just sounds like block breaking. So if we get these. If it wants to break. And what you're going to do, you're going to break that. Alright. Five hours later. I'll just do this guys and we'll be right back. Obviously I'm not going to cut away, I'm, it's only what a couple of blocks. I'm sure this will be enough, I'll place some more blocks down just in case. Right, place these down. Put a pressure pad there so it just closes after me. I maybe should put one there as well. Right, so we need one, two. Place them there and that there. Uh, this chest. Any type of flower you want. I just got that because I already had one in my inventory. And if you get that and that there, which then gives you one to focus. Doesn't matter what colour, any colour you would like. So basically this will tell you oh ah this is telling you where it's firing so you want that I want this first in here please oh 
did I do this last time? I jumped down my skin there for wonder what that was. Hmm. I'll just go and sleep two seconds because I don't want to. I wonder how that works. I might have to cut away at this point, guys, but just because I want to remember how to do it because I've forgotten. Well, I haven't forgotten, it's just it doesn't seem to want to turn. Basically, I should put stuff over there. <laughs> Accepting from mana items. Oh, there we go. Shift click. There we go, now she's filling. It's the only thing with one yet. All right, so you, you click, you touch, you click, you touch, and that does that. Basically, this should start filling up now. Should. So I can get rid of that. I remembered how to do it. <laughs> I knew I was doing something wrong. And basically, this will fill up this now. As you can see, once you get rid of that, that'll just disappear, and you'll see it filling up. What this does, these day blooms obviously create mana during the day, and the nightshade creates mana through the night. And what you want to do is don't put your flowers right next to each other because it will not create mana whatsoever. Every now and again, you'll get that because that's mana going into there, but it should. should say how much mana it's got in. That one says it's got some. Maybe it might move that over later. But we're going to see if the cart's ready. And we've got our cart. So basically this wants to go over here. And I'll just get a bit of coal. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And hopefully, I've already set set it up so it accepts and puts in and drops down. Are you going to work? I did stick a planter in this, so it should plant them after it's cut. How to feel? There we go. Let's see if it does work. There we go, and now it's planting. Yeah, all I stuck in was, if I go onto this and type in planter, 
it doesn't tell you to make this in a book but it, you should do it it was just a normal simple PCB which is just redstone and iron ingot and gold and then if you go back and it's an advanced PCB which needs two two simple ones which cost a lot of iron so it needs them too and it needs two oak saplings and two redstone it is actually quite easy to make if you think about it but it's just iron consumption but I don't know why it's not planting anymore but it should be yep ah. let's see if, what it's got it's got that and that See if it's changed anything. You're not going to, are you? You're just going to plant them too, and that's it. Because that's all the saplings you have. We're going, we're going to see if we've got any other saplings. Basically, now we've automated our tree farm. We've automated some Britannia uh, down here. And I think I had saplings in the top chest. Which I do, I'll get all of these and put the fertilizer opponent in, so I can't put fertilizer in it or bone meal. Ah, there we go. I should have to leave that on one. Yes. Let's see if it takes up them saplings next time round. No, it doesn't. So I need to work out how to... Current side chest. Hmm. That does. That's green, that's green, that's yellow, that's black or blue. I've changed that to red. Did I take that then? Hmm. Wonder if I need a second one of these then. I do have a second one and I think I remember where I put it. If the weather keeps up, I am going to turn it off. But might need to be able to detect detect the rail for this. So if I change that to that, might be using too many stuff like. And if we go to here, maybe that's why you get two when you do it. <laughs> I, I don't really play with Steve's cats, to tell you the truth, I don't. It's Mistcraft and Darkcraft, anything like that, that's my thing. They're my mods, they're my favourite mods.
You meant to empty him out. <laughs> Current storage slots. Unless it only empties them when it's full. If you, any of you guys know, just leave it in the comments and, and that would help a great deal. Thank you. Or if you could link us into something which could show me, that would be even better. But I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I'm sorry it's, uh, I'm sorry it's such a short episode. I will be turning that off while I'm talking. I'm sorry it's a short episode today, guys. It's because we're having power up power cuts in, our, in my area at the moment and I apologise for that for just a short video but thanks for being here guys and thanks for being so the subscribers and the MPB the MPBs of YouTube and don't forget if you're new here hit that subscribe button love you guys bye bye